Dr. Dickinson out there in cyberspace. Thank you. Give my hand, please. <laughs> I'm sure some of you watching this live stream are wondering, that's it after the first piece. <laughs> yes, it was very, very short, uh, but that was part of the point of it. Uh, the solo tune was uh, written by Dr. Paul Dickinson as a little project, a combination of solo pieces and etudes that just take a brief moment for virtually every instrument that is taught here at UCA and a project to be performed by the faculty. So, um, I've asked him to expand on that at some point in the future if he has time, because I think it's an interesting beginning point for a, a more extended piece. So we'll see if he can uh, drum up something from his mind to expand on it. Um, thank you so much for tuning in, for being here in person if you're here. And uh, uh, this next piece, I'm happy to introduce uh, my lovely assistant, who happens to also be my wife. This is Terry Shires on piano. And we're going to play a piece that is new to most of us, I dare say, as horn players. I have not heard this performed, um, but in my effort to expand my horizons, uh, I thought this would be a great piece written by Barbara York, who um, sadly passed away just last December. Um, and so I wanted to showcase some of her work in this recital. And so this, this sonata was written in 2009 like all the pieces on this program that are either written in this century or were discovered in this century, um, I've discovered this and it was written in this century. Uh, and um, I like to think of these three movements as sort of represented uh, in terms of images of places and things that I saw as, uh, as we drove around in Scotland some years back, um, the, the hills of various kinds, the, the, the giant hills of bare space that, that seemed to grow nothing but rocks um, in the first movement. The, uh, the second movement, the fields of heather, rolling, lush, uh, flowered places and fields like the field of the Battle of Culloden that kind of spoke to me when I saw it, um, where so many lives were lost. And then in the last movement, a chip off the old mound is a perfect example of getting to see the old course, that place of the, the birth of golf. Um, and of course, that's a different kind of hill <laughs> that you encounter on a course. But uh, anyway, hope you enjoy this sonata by Barbara York.
this next piece is quite interesting. Uh, this is a work that I also just recently discovered. Um, it was written for the uh, for a premiere at the International Horn Symposium in 2006, but hadn't caught my eye until I spotted it in a music store, uh, Houghton Horns, and uh, I thought, well, this looks very curious. So I picked it up and started messing around with it and decided this would be a fun thing to put on the program. Uh, and so I think, honestly, it's the first time I've played an African piece for solo horn. Uh, so this particular piece is a horn call, for lack of a better translation. Um, but you'll notice he, the composer, Justinian Thomas Souza, who, by the way, uh, actually uh, was, was a uh, colleague of Dr. Dickinson's for a period of time at Northwestern University, um, the composer attempts to sort of paint pictures using Western instruments, classical instruments, but, but playing African idioms. And so uh, you'll hear some very interesting concepts that may surprise you. And among other things, um, there's a not only stopped and muting and drumming and a whole bunch of things, but you'll also notice that he uses this technique called Egono, which is a, a Ugandan style of slight raising of pitch at the end of a phrase, sort of microtonally, maybe quarter tone or so. So when you hear these interesting uh, changes, fluctuations in pitch, that's part of the, part of the um, as you called it, Kigandi style of music. So uh, we'll see if I can pull this off. Because I definitely can't pronounce the title yet. <laughs> well, we'll just call it Horn Call. Thank <laughs> you. 
I thought uh, I would invite Dr. Robertson, one of my favorite colleagues to perform with here at UCA, to just say a couple of words about uh, the composer of this next piece, um, since she has a, a, a stronger tie, uh, friendship that goes back a long ways, and so I thought it would be nice for her to get to say something. So, Dr. Robertson. Uh, he stole my line. I was going to say that he was one of my favorite people to perform with here at UCA, and along with Dr. Shires' wife, Terry Shires. Uh, this trio has been uh, together a couple times. This is our second or third time playing together. And uh, we, uh, some years ago, Dr. Shires and I uh, got together and we commissioned Barbara York to write a piece for tuba and for euphonium and French horn and piano. And uh, you can see program notes in the program, so I won't be redundant with that. But uh, Barbara was a great friend. She uh, was someone I met through commissioning a work for a trombone called a cage bird years ago. And just through the conversations we had on the telephone, I knew that she was someone I would someday want to meet. And when I took this job here in Arkansas, I looked on the map to see where on earth was Conway, Arkansas. And the closest person that I knew was Barbara York, and it was six hours away. And uh, so we were lucky enough to bring her to campus here twice, and uh, she's worked with the uh, To Be Funny Ensemble. And a uh, wonderful woman, if, you've not, if you're not familiar with her music, it's definitely worth uh, exploring. Uh, she's filled lots of holes and gaps in the repertoire for the tuba euphonium. And as I heard her horn concerto today, I realized that fills probably some gaps in that repertoire as well. So this is a work by Barbara York.
I want to say thank you again for tuning in or being here. Um, it's really uh, it's a great opportunity to get back to the stage and play some solo repertoire. It's, it's been put off for too long, partly because of COVID. Um, and so I'm happy to uh, share some thoughts musically with you. Um, this last piece, you might be wondering, what is, a, what is a work written in 1820 doing on a program of music from this century? Uh, well, if you know anything about this piece, you know that it was discovered very recently um, as the works of Rijka are slowly being unearthed. Um, and so this piece was just published in 2018 in this format with the piano. So uh, in many respects, it is really brand new. And uh, I hope you'll enjoy Rijka's work. Uh, in case you didn't get to see the program, you should have found a link. Um, on the YouTube, there should have been a link there to the program, so hopefully you were able to find that. If anybody out there is looking for the actual program and the notes, please contact me. I'll be happy to send those to you. Uh, thanks again for being here, and uh, I will play Introduction and Rondo.